Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. OneNote did something weird to me recently and uh, give me a bit of a fright. Um, somehow I managed to fix it, so I'm going to show you how I did it. So basically I went into OneNote and I went into one of my notebooks, Chinese Lessons, and I tried to cut and paste a page from one section into another section. So I have a section called Beginner and within this section there are four pages I'm cutting one of them ignore that box I'm right click I'm gonna cut one of the pages and then when I want to paste it in the other section so I was gonna right click paste before that happened one unexpectedly shut down for no reason it just closed itself so to simulate that I'll just press uh, I just press alt f4 on my keyboard to try and shut it down it didn't ask me this question so I'm just gonna shut it I'm just gonna close it down just click no okay so then I went back into the OneNote and you can see my beginner page in my beginner section lesson 2 is gone and then I go to my intermediate page, I try to paste it, there is no paste option. Okay, you can't paste. So where is that page gone? Okay, so then I go to history, I go to notebook recycle bin, notebook recycle bin. It's actually in here. However, for me, it wasn't in here. Okay, somehow it's got in here because maybe OneNote um, had a recovery mechanism that worked because it didn't unexpectedly shut down. But let's say that you go into this notebook recycle bin and it's not here, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, so it's gone. So what happens, where do you go to find it? It's not in here, you can't paste it out. It's not in your, it's not in your notebook recycle bin. So what do you do? So it stopped letting me click on the top for some reason. Okay, this top bit's not working. Hang on a second. Okay, it's working again. Notebook recycle bin, not here. Um, so then what you do to get that back is you go to file options okay hopefully options will come up computers being super slow today okay options has come up then you go to save and backup and you'll notice that OneNote actually keeps a backup of all your files uh, every week Okay, and it actually keeps two backup copies. So you'll have your OneNote saved uh, for two weeks prior if you do something wrong with it. Well, in this case, it just did something wrong to itself. It wasn't because of me, but... Anyway, so I go into the backup folder, which you can do just by double-clicking on it. Here's my backup folder. I'm going to click the address right click this address copy it and then I'll get out of here cancel cancel and then I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and I'm gonna paste that address into the address box press enter and you'll see that it's got 16.0 I'm guessing it's version 16 2016 OneNote and then I'm going to go to the backup folder and you can see all my OneNotes are in here. And then I go into my Chinese lessons and I'm going to open up this beginner.one file. So you can open it up by double clicking on it, but I'm just going to right click open with my 2016 version of OneNote. And you can see that right now, it's just opened up this section. It's not in any particular notebook. It's just a section and it's got my lesson two. So I'm just gonna right click, copy that, copy that this time, 
because I've learned my lesson. Basically, don't cut and paste, just copy and paste. So I'm going to right click, paste, and lesson two is back. And so this time I've learned it the hard way. Right click, copy, paste it, copy and paste. Once you've got two copies of it, then if you want, you can delete the old copy. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.